As the story begins, we are introduced to Ren Hao Min, a good-looking man who is the boss of the Ren Group. Despite being blind, he holds a powerful position as the eldest son of the chairman. In a flashback, we see that Hao Min's father arranged for him to marry Ryuan King Chan, the daughter of their biggest business rival, the Ryuan Group. However, there was a catch, Hao Min had to keep his blindness a secret from his new bride's family. On the other side of the story, we see that King Tian's stepmother, Qin Yanju, was also forcing her to marry Hao Min. She threatened to harm her sick father if King Tian refused to comply with her wishes. The scene then returns to the present. Hao Min walks into the glittering engagement party with his trusty assistant by his side. They navigate the bustling crowd, making their way to the stage where Hao Min is set to exchange rings with his beloved King Tian. The guests whisper and stare, intrigued by Hao Min's blindness. But Hao Min and King Tian are unfazed, determined to show their love for each other. As they reach out to exchange rings, Hao Min's hand wavers, searching for King Tian's finger. But in his blindness, he struggles to find it. Suddenly, Hao Min's ring slips from his grasp and falls to the ground with a clatter. The guests gasp, but King Tian is quick to react. She gracefully picks up the ring and places it back in Hao Min's hand. After the beautiful engagement party, Hao Min and King Tian return to his home. Hao Min brought up an agreement that they had signed before the party. The agreement stated that King Tian must follow all of Hao Min's orders and act as his servant. If she broke any of these rules, she would be fined 50 million won. King Tian was heartbroken to learn that her cruel stepmother was behind the agreement. Despite her reservations, she had no choice but to accept the terms. King Tian retreated to her room, hoping for a moment of peace. But before she could catch her breath, Hao Min had already given her a new task. He demanded that she cook him crayfish for dinner. King Tian was frightened by the live crayfish and expressed her fear to Hao Min. However, Hao Min was unfazed and dismissed her concerns. King Tian sighed, already feeling the weight of her new servitude. The next scene opens with King Tian bustling around the kitchen, gathering all the ingredients she needs to cook the crayfish for Hao Min. As she works, Hao Min reaches for what he thinks is a glass of water and takes a sip. But to his surprise, it was actually a spicy sauce. The heat was too much for him to handle, and he frantically searched for a way to cool his mouth. In his haste, Hao Min stumbled near the crayfish and one of them bit his finger. Hao Min let out a startled yell, his hand shooting up in shock. Despite his protests, King Tian bravely approached him and tried to free his hand from the crayfish's grasp. She tried several methods, but nothing seemed to work. Just when she was about to give up, she remembered a trick and dipped his hand in salt water. To their relief, the crayfish finally released its grip, and Hao Min's hand was free. On the other hand, King Tian's twin sister Ryuan Zin Zin and their mom are talking to the doctor at the hospital about their dad, Mr. Ryuan. They plan to give him drugs so he never wakes up. However, their dad's caretaker sees this and quickly calls King Tian to tell her what's going on. King Tian is shocked but knows she has to take action. Just then, she's asked to give Hao Min a bath. She doesn't want to do it, but when she's reminded of the bad things that could happen if she doesn't, she reluctantly agrees. King Tian assists Hao Min in undressing and leads him into the bathtub. As they bathe, Hao Min requests the basalt, and as King Tian tries to grab it, she slips and tumbles into the tub with him, making things uncomfortable for both of them. That night, King Tian is lost in thought about her past while sitting alone. She remembers how her stepmother switched her out for her twin sister as a bride, and no one knows. Then, Hao Min hands her a book filled with important client information, and they have to attend a business party the next day. King Tian reluctantly starts memorizing the book, but she's so tired she falls asleep on the couch. In the morning, Hao Min wakes her up with three makeup artists he hired to make her look beautiful. She's stunned by the transformation, and Hao Min's assistant tells them they look like the perfect couple. They head to the business party, where King Tian gets to meet lots of clients and even some high-ranking executives from other companies. As luck would have it, Hao Min's younger brother, Ren Hao Xuan, and King Tian's twin sister, Xin Xin, are also at the party. They both come over and start teasing Hao Min and King Tian about their looks and way of life. This makes them angry, and they decide to leave. But before they can, Hao Xuan shoves a chair towards his blind brother, and King Tian jumps in to save him, damaging her shoes in the process. When they get back home from the party, Hao Min is finally kind to King Tian, and she feels happy about it. In the next scene, King Tian and Hao Min go to the hospital where her father is being treated. When they arrive, they discover that someone unplugged her father's oxygen supply, and she gets furious. King Tian decides to move her dad to another hospital without telling anyone. Afterward, she thanks Song for his help, but he says he should be thanking her because Hao Min has been happier since she came into his life. Song also shares some information about a past accident where Hao Min got hit by a car and lost his sight. The following day, Hao Xuan visits his brother, eager to obtain a valuable black gold pass card. However, Hao Min feels that he hasn't earned it yet. This disappoints Hao Xuan, who starts teasing his brother for his visual impairment. King Tian, who is nearby, cleverly turns off the lights to give Hao Xuan a taste of what it's like to be blind. This leads Hao Xuan to leave in a huff. Later that night, Hao Min approaches King Tian and tries to strike up a conversation, but she's already asleep. Admiring her peaceful slumber, Hao Min tenderly lifts her into bed. In her dreams, King Tian mentions her father, unconsciously grabbing Hao Min's hand. 
This leads to an accidental kiss between the two. Early in the morning, King Tian wakes up in Hao Min's bed and becomes nervous about what might have happened the night before. Hao Min simply smiles and reassures her that nothing occurred. Just then, the doorbell rings, and King Tian's stepmother and sister arrive. As soon as they step inside, the greedy stepmother starts chatting with King Tian, leaving Xin Xin free to sneak into her room and steal her precious jewelry designs. After they leave, King Tian becomes suspicious and starts investigating. She soon discovers that Xin Xin is showcasing new jewelry designs at a press conference. In a panic, she rushes to her secret box, only to find that it's empty. It dawns on her that her twin sister has stolen her designs. Enraged, King Tian storms to the press conference to confront her thieving sister. But by the time King Tian arrives at the press conference, Hao Min is already confronting Xin Xin, who is caught off guard and unable to defend herself. Hao Min asks a few simple questions and quickly exposes her for copying someone else's design. The audience erupts in anger and Hao Min is unable to prevent his company from suffering a major loss. To cope with the disappointment, Hao Min decides to go drinking with a business client, but he drinks too much and returns home drunk. King Tian helps him to the couch where he can rest. As she's in the middle of taking a shower, Hao Min asks for water. Thinking he can't see anything, King Tian goes to him wearing just a towel. However, Hao Min has some blurry vision and approaches her, wondering if he's dreaming. This leads to another awkward moment between the two. Meanwhile, Hao Xuan and Xin Xin are caught in bed together, plotting against their siblings. They come up with a scheme where Xin Xin pretends to be King Tian and convinces Hao Min to switch his business deal to Hao Xuan's subsidiary. The next day, when Hao Min discovers this, he becomes angry and accuses King Tian. To make matters worse, her stepmother calls to tell her that the plan is complete. Desperate to prove her innocence, King Tian tries to convince Hao Min, but he doesn't believe her. That night, Hao Min instructs his assistant to review the CCTV footage to see if King Tian left the house that day. When the assistant confirms that she was home, King Tian is finally cleared of any wrongdoing. Hao Min then goes to her and apologizes for not trusting her. The two work together to figure out that Hao Xuan and Xin Xin are the masterminds behind the scheme. The next day, Hao Xuan meets with his business client to finalize the stolen deal. But just as the contract is about to be signed, Hao Min and King Tian appear. Hao Min, who is more intelligent than his younger brother, impresses the client with some new jewelry designs. As a result, the client cancels the contract with Hao Xuan and enters into a new one with Hao Min. Hao Xuan is furious and returns to Xin Xin, revealing the location of the hospital where her father is being treated. Xin Xin quickly sends a thug to the hospital. Meanwhile, King Tian goes to the hospital to check on her father's recovery, but she can't find him. She hears someone enter the room and hides behind the curtain, only to discover that it's Xin Xin and the thug, who are there to kidnap her father. When they don't find him, Xin Xin calls Hao Xuan to let him know about the situation. Soon after, they leave, and Song arrives and informs King Tian of her father's whereabouts. He drives her to another hospital, where she finds Hao Min caring for her father. It turns out that Hao Min was aware of Hao Xuan's plan and had moved Mr. Ryuan before they could reach him. Upon learning this, King Tian is overjoyed and hugs Hao Min to express her gratitude. In the next scene, King Tian is hard at work on her jewelry designs when the lights suddenly go out. She becomes frightened of the dark, and Hao Min quickly comes to her rescue. He shows her where the power switches and explains that he likes the darkness because when the lights go out, he's just like everyone else. With that, Hao Min approaches King Tian and the two share a kiss. Meanwhile, Hao Xuan and Xin Xin, who had deliberately cut the power supply, sneak into Hao Min's room and steal the black gold card from his drawer. The next morning, King Tian is lost in thoughts about Hao Min and wonders if she has feelings for him. She's also concerned about the recent events, as Xin Xin was supposed to be Hao Min's fiancé. Later that day, Hao Min and King Tian attend a meeting called by his father to promote Hao Min as the general manager in recognition of his exceptional contributions to the company. Everyone is pleased with the announcement, but just then, Hao Xuan bursts in and objects to the decision. Hao Xuan accuses his brother of secretly working with outsiders to sell the company's shares at a low price and even claims to have proof. Hao Min is confronted by his angry father, but he chooses not to respond to the allegations. Hao Xuan wins the argument, and Hao Min is suspended by the chairman. After the heated meeting, Hao Min, King Tian, and Song drive back home only to find that their belongings have been packed and thrown outside. They watch in disbelief as Xin Xin celebrates her victory with a drink on the balcony. With no other options, Song offers them a temporary home in his small, abandoned house. Feeling guilty for dragging King Tian into the situation, Hao Min offers to let her return home, regardless of their contractual agreement. But King Tian, being a kind person, chooses to stay by his side, even in these trying times. She even comments that their current living situation is much better than their previous one. Hao Min is grateful to have such a wonderful companion. King Tian sets to work cleaning the house and then prepares a meal for him. As they eat, King Tian asks Hao Min why he didn't defend himself against his brother. Hao Min responds that winning against his brother wouldn't bring him any satisfaction. 
the two spend some intimate time together, sharing personal information and enjoying each other's company. Hao Min expresses his happiness at having King Tian by his side, and their sweet conversation leads to a passionate kiss. The next morning, King Tian wakes up to find that Hao Min has prepared breakfast for her. When she asks why he went to the trouble, Hao Min responds that he did it for her. The two are in the midst of a romantic conversation when Song arrives with shocking evidence. The evidence reveals that Hao Xuan was responsible for causing Hao Min's accident and making him blind. Hao Min takes the evidence to his father's office and confronts his brother. When the father realizes the truth, he becomes angry and slaps Hao Xuan. Hao Min then turns on the father, blaming him for the situation. He accuses the father of raising them to compete against each other instead of supporting one another. Despite everything that's happened, Hao Xuan is still obsessed with beating his brother. He pushes Hao Min, causing him to hit his head on a table and pass out. In the next scene, Hao Min is unconscious and getting treated at home. The doctor thinks he might recover his sight when he wakes up. King Tian is overjoyed and decides to tell Hao Min the truth about their swapped bride once he wakes up. Meanwhile, Xin Xin is annoyed that her latest scheme to ruin her sister didn't work. She's starting to see that Hao Xuan is a jerk, but she won't give up. Xin Xin hatches another plan to kidnap King Tian and take her place as Hao Min's fiancé. She hires two guys to abduct King Tian and take her to an empty room. Then, Xin Xin disguises herself as her twin sister and stays by Hao Min's side, waiting for him to wake up. After being in a coma for several days, Hao Min wakes up and can see again. The first person he sees is Xin Xin, but he thinks it's King Tian and hugs her, saying how much he missed her. A few weeks pass, and Hao Min gets better. He starts going to work again, and his father decides to retire and leave the company to Hao Min. Meanwhile, King Tian is trapped in a room with little food or freedom. She spends her days watching TV. Even though King Tian is stuck in the room, she can't stop thinking about Hao Min and wonders how he's doing. One day, while watching TV, she sees Xin Xin with Hao Min and realizes that her sister was behind the kidnapping all along. King Tian is furious, but the discovery gives her the courage to escape. She hits one of her captors with a chair and runs away. King Tian thinks about going to Hao Min's house, but she's worried he won't believe her. In the end, she decides to go back to Song's house, where she had stayed with Hao Min. While there, she finds a form for a jewelry competition that could give the winner a chance to showcase their designs at Ren's group. Knowing that Hao Min will be at the competition, King Tian decides to enter the contest to showcase her skills. She quickly fills out the form and submits her designs. A few days later, at the event, Hao Min, Xin Xin, and other investors are in the audience. The winner is announced as Princess Zai Zai, but it's actually King Tian wearing a white mask. She takes off the mask and reveals her true identity, shocking everyone, especially Xin Xin. However, Hao Min doesn't seem surprised, suggesting he knew about the swap. King Tian exposes her sister's evil deeds in front of the audience and calls her a frog. The crowd applauds, and Hao Min presents King Tian with the victory award, saying, Long time no see. After winning the competition, King Tian and Hao Min leave the stage together. Xin Xin tries to plead with Hao Min, saying she's been taking care of him and is supposed to be his fiancé. But Hao Min dismisses her and admits he knew about the swap because Xin Xin didn't have a scar on her hand like King Tian. He also had his assistant check on them to uncover the truth. Hao Min embraces King Tian in front of everyone while Song reports Xin Xin's crimes to the police. The couple decides to leave their big house and go back to Song's place. Later, King Tian's father fully recovers, and he talks with Song about how happy he is for King Tian. Hao Min and King Tian spend a romantic moment together, and he asks her to close her eyes. Hao Min surprises King Tian by kneeling, opening a ring box, and proposing to her. She's shocked at first, but then she happily says yes and they share a passionate kiss. Meanwhile, Xin Xin and Hao Xuan get sentenced to seven years in prison and a fine for their crimes. The doctor who helped them also gets punished and loses his license for illegal drug use. In the end, Hao Min and King Tian are together and the bad guys get what they deserve. Their love finally triumphs over all the obstacles they faced. The moral lesson from this movie is, never trust your evil twin sister even if she looks exactly like you. And always make sure to double check your glass before taking a sip.